welcome to my views and news a look at headlines the first news story is about a meeting meeting of social media activists social media activists were invited to the oromia region of ethiopia from tigray as well nine names were forwarded from tigray interim government to uh, the federal government or addis ababa government oromo activists were there too oromo social media activists ethiopian government backed activists participated too and uh, discussions were held for around 6 days is it uh, a new development that uh, tigray and oromia are forming an alliance on different levels alliance of uh, politicians alliance of religious uh, groups alliance of activists details for you secondly viewers uh, yesterday birtukan midaksa national election board of ethiopia chairperson resigned from the 1st of uh, august ethiopian calendar her resignation will be effective i have a clip for you an old clip of melazinawe late ethiopian uh, prime minister tplf leader when he was the prime minister how did he treat uh birtukan midaksa third viewers uh, diga the moth gojam where yesterday ethiopian military launched an operation against fano fighters two casualties happened yesterday what is the latest latest from there fourthly an update for you on the kidnapping of around 60 vehicle drivers and owners The kidnapping happened uh, almost a week ago in North Shore zone of the Oromia region. Ransom was being demanded. People, family members of the abductees were protesting, and they were collecting ransom. Last of all, uh, in July, at the end of first week of July, a face-off, a confrontation is expected between. to eritrean diaspora groups we saw a similar uh, confrontation last year to and uh, these days preparations are underway both sides are making uh, preparations reportedly firstly we also uh, several activists are themselves confirming several new sources are sharing uh letters receipts of uh, uh, hotel stay expenses etc showing that nine social media activists pro tigray backed by tigray interim government attended a meeting held in adama in adama romia region all the social media activists were invited from tigray nine names a letter is being shared in social media showing the nine names which were forwarded by tigray interim government it means that tigray interim government nominated these nine social media activists to attend the meeting in adama the nine activists uh, the, uh, include fitsam birane getacho eregavi Meag Amare, Nega Zero, Sinait Mebrato, Elimaze Bijine, Birhane Gebre Georges, Zeriho Fitavi. Nine names, uh, and all these nine names are well-known social media activists. They criticize uh, Tigray government too sometimes. They are very critical of uh, Amhara too. federal government too in the past uh, not all of them but uh, some of them are very critical of amhara hardliners too 
they were invited through Tigray interim government. The interim government sent them to Adama. These activists were given uh, flight tickets, free stay at hotels with all the facilities. They were given gifts too. And then discussions were held. I think six day stay in Addis Ababa in Adama. From Amhara region too, some activists were invited from Wallo reportedly uh, and some Argo and Kemets too reportedly. Discussions were held. Now these nine Tigray activists are facing internal criticism too. Other Tigray social media activists are criticizing them. Uh, receipts of their hotel stay expenditure, their flight ticket uh, uh, copies are being shared in social media. And they are being accused that they sat with those Ethiopian government-backed activists who in the two-year-long war allegedly backed genocide of Tigrayans. So on the one hand, we are seeing that some social media activists, Tigrayans, are criticizing the nine uh, Tigrayan uh, social media activists. On the other hand, we are seeing that uh, Amhara region, uh, Amhara activists, they say that uh, the discussions were mainly held to form Tigray Oromo alliance against Amhara. That new narratives will be launched. Uh, against Amharas. Divisions will be created. Some activists within Amhara could also be involved in this attempt to uh, create divisions in the Amhara region. But it's important that uh, no uh, vocal Amhara activists were invited to attend this meeting. Uh, maybe that is why uh, they are leveling allegations. And they are not expected to be invited because Amhara activists are being arrested. Their journalists are being arrested. Their uh, uh, political workers being arrested. And we can conclude to some extent that uh, Tegarai Oromo Alliance is getting stronger on all levels, in all fields. Uh, Gata Cho visited uh, Oromia and Shimalis, another regional president visited Makale. Shimalis announced aid for Tegarai. Uh, Addis Ababa mayor announced uh, I think 500 million birds for Tegarai. Tegarai Oromia Orthodox churches are on the same page as well. They are rejecting the authority of the main church. And now their activists are joining hands too. So uh, these are different aspects of uh, a new alliance in Ethiopia, which is emerging. Oromo is the leading partner. Tegarai is a junior partner. Amhara sidelined, they are looking for new allies in Ethiopia, outside Ethiopia. So far, they are finding it difficult to get allies. Secondly, was Birtukan Medaksa, National Action Board of Ethiopia chairperson, uh, resigned yesterday. She said she was resigning voluntarily. She wanted to take care of her health. She wanted to rest because she has been in office for around four years, for more than four years. From the 1st of August, Ethiopian year, resignation will be effective. Uh, but his, her resignation uh, could be linked to what is going to happen in Ethiopia in coming days. Nebe refused to 
reinstate TPLF as uh, a political party a few weeks ago. It rejected TPLF's application for restoration of its status. If you look at uh, career of Birtukan Medaksa, she uh, struggled as opposition politician when EPRDF was in power. She was put in prison. She went in prison for some time. She founded a new coalition as well. Uh, then she was forced to leave the country. For years, uh, for, around, for more than five to six years, I think, she remained abroad. She was forced because she was in prison. She was told to leave the country for her release. She agreed and she uh, uh, was forced into exile in the US, I think. When PM Abi came to power, she returned. So there is history of uh, animosity between Birtukan, Medaksa and TPLF. TPLF wants a restoration of its status. Birtukan, Nabe has already rejected TPLF's application. Now, Tegarai interim government is in talks with the Ethiopian federal government. It wants Nabe to reconsider its decision. Before that, Birtukan has resigned. I have a clip for you showing how uh, Meles Zinnavi, TPLF leader, treated uh, Birtukan. He refused to give any special uh, treatment to Birtukan when Birtukan was in prison. Uh, and he refused to release Americans, others, uh, human rights organizations. They were asking Meles Zinnavi to release uh, uh, Medaksa, but he did not. Um, the health situation of uh, uh, Burtukan, the latest I heard, she's in perfect health. She may have uh, added uh, some uh, few kilos, um, but other than that, um, and that may be for lack of exercise, other than that, I understand she's in perfect health. So they can verify these allegations? No. That will not happen because you do not have that right in your country. Burtukan is an ordinary prisoner of law. She will be treated like an ordinary prisoner of law. What some in the United States and others want is for her to be treated differently. They want her to be treated differently because they want to convey the message that those who have friends in the right places are immune from persecution in Ethiopia. We will keep her in prison permanently. Talibu, the Dega Demot uh, town in Gajam, where Ethiopian military around 48 hours ago launched an operation against Fano fighters in different parts of Gajam, East Gajam, West Gajam. Simultaneously, several security operations are ongoing against Fano fighters. Ethiopian military are trying to disarm a Fano fighters, trying to uh, prevent them, uh, prevent their organization, their efforts to organize themselves. Yesterday there was fighting and one Fano fighter and a farmer were killed in Dega Demot. People protested and today again we saw uh, big gatherings in Degademot. People took to the streets to support Fano fighters since one farmer has been killed, that is why. And secondly, to support Fano fighters, thousands marched in Degademot town today. Again, it's going to become difficult for Ethiopian military to continue operation in Degademot. Same pattern like we saw in Dambicha in the Salam in Gondar, etc. Uh, several pictures, videos are being shared from Dekari Moore showing that people are angry, they are protesting against Ethiopian military, they are protesting in support of uh, Fano fighters reportedly. Fourthly, viewers, uh, those who were kidnapped in North Shua zone of the uh, Romia region uh, have been released, but not all of them. A week ago, almost 50 uh, 
Almost 60 truck drivers, vehicle owners were abducted in North Shore zone of the Oromia region. No group claimed responsibility for this abduction, but the abductors uh, demanded ransom for the release of these 60 people. Uh, family members of uh, the abductees protested in a town uh, against the abduction of their family members because they were not in a position to pay ransom. Uh, hundreds of thousands of birds were being demanded as ransom and family members were being conducted, contacted by these abduct abductors. Uh, government was nowhere to be seen. Uh, people started collecting ransom. Campaigns were launched, fundraising campaigns to collect ransom to be paid to the abductors. Now, reportedly, out of 60, 11 have been released. They were released after their families paid ransom to abductors. Between 500,000 to 1 million Ethiopian birds were paid to the abductors. And after that, these abductees, 11 released, other still in the custody of armed faction. Which armed faction? Uh, people say Ola is operating in this area. Ola fight to carry out attacks. And behind this kidnapping for ransom, there is Romo Liberation Army. Ola is silent. No statement from Ola. No statement from Oromia regional government, from federal government. Where is Ethiopian military? Uh, and this is not the first time that people have been forced to pay ransom in Romeo. Uh, some cement factory workers, uh, sugar factory workers, they were attacked, they were kidnapped, and factories had to pay ransom. I remember, I had some videos in the past. So it's basically a sort of uh, business, you can say, by some groups in the Romeo region, that they uh, kidnap people, they demand ransom. And they are uh, operating freely. There is no one to stop them. Uh, last viewers, a face-off, a confrontation between two Eritrean groups is going to happen at the end of first week of July. Preparations are underway. In August last year, we saw that uh, uh, Eritrean government-backed festival was organized in Gishan, Germany. Opposition, uh, Eritrean opposition diaspora members, they attacked the venue. The festival was postponed. Security forces uh, detained some Eritreans, uh, opposition diaspora members who attacked the venue. The Eritrean government wrote a letter to Germany demanding uh, legal action against those who uh, stormed the festival venue in Gisha. Don't know what happened, how many were uh, charged. But again, this year, uh, next month, at the end of first week of July, I think on the 7th of July, this festival is again being organized by Eritrean government-backed groups. Eritrean council-led backs the organizing of this program. Opposition diaspora members have started their preparations. They are telling that they will not let this festival be held in Gisha. Across Europe, messages are being sent to Eritrean opposition uh, diaspora members to come to Gishan, Germany uh, and to be there between the 7th and 9th of uh, uh, July next month. So again, there could be serious law and order situation in Germany, both sides making preparations. Government, uh, Eritrean government backed diaspora members are contacting uh, Germany's government they want German government, local government to provide security to ensure that the festival is held. The other side is resorting to all means, legal means uh, and other ways of stopping this festival. Let's see what happens. We'll keep you updated. So far, preparations underway on both sides. Thank you for watching.